GameMaker How To, randomly drop objects from the top of the screen. Uh, so let's say you have a little game where things are supposed to drop from the top of the screen, the player catches them, or who knows what it is, right? This idea can be applied to a lot of different game situations. Uh, let's get started on it. I just have an empty room here. Um, I have a couple objects. What I'll do is, is I'm just going to make an object responsible for the dropping. So let's go objects, create an object, and I'll call it O dropper now I don't need a sprite for this one okay I'll just sort of let it sit there and of course I'm going to put it in the room so objects dropper I'll just put it there now the object dropper uh, one way to do it is just in the step event I can randomly decide to drop something I guess one thing I should actually also know here is how wide my room is so I can see here just using the X and the Y that basically from about 60 all the way up to let's say 720 would be a good value so 60 to 720 for my X direction and for my Y direction I can see here this is a height of about 100 so I'll go for that so let's get started on this one let's go to our dropper and let's go to the step event Add a little bit of code. Now in the dropper step, my code's gonna be fairly straightforward. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick a random number between, uh, let's say, one and 100. I'm gonna ask if this number, I'll drop a lot of them here. I'll say if it's less than five, we're gonna do our drop. Now when we go to do our drop, uh, let's say we're always gonna drop apples. So I have an apple object already made. I'm going to go instance create. Now, normally you put an X and Y here, right? And that would make the apple at the dropper drop down. So we'll just do this for a test, right? Speed equals 8. And direction down is 270. Okay. And that's really it. And the apple should drop down. So let's give this a little test, and then we'll go and we'll fine-tune it. So you'll see they're all dropping from the dropper. Now what you want is you want sort of the random drop, which is all over the room. So let's take care of that. So the first thing is we don't want to be dropping at the X and Y of the dropper. What I want to have here is I want to have a random number. Now I'll show you the long way to do it, and then I'll show you the quicker way to do it. So the long way is I go X position, I random range. And we had said the X would be good between 60 and 720. Just pick a number, random number. The Y position, I think I said 100 was okay. Now all you do is, is just substitute these in here. X position, Y position. So the gist of it is I'm just finding a random value for X. Instantly this should make it look like, you know, there's some magic happening and these are popping up from various X positions. Notice the Y position just stays even at 100 there, so they're all dropping from the same level. Usually in a game, you'd probably have some graphic in front of that, so, you know, if they're dropping from clouds or something, whatever it is, or enemies or bases, you know, there's some graphics on top. But you can see here we get a pretty good spread, okay, and it should be because it is random, so you never know what's going to happen, and they just keep dropping. Not bad. Now, some people always ask, well, how do you make it so various objects drop? There's lots of ways to do this from uh, easy beginner ways to more tricky ways that uh, let you do a lot more later on as your games get bigger. But here's just an idea for you. Here I'm making an apple, and it's always making an apple because I've said, oh, apple up in there. What you could do is you could actually replace this with a variable if you wanted. So I could do this kind of trick. While I'm in here firing, I can find another variable or uh, another random number. And I can make this number something like, let's just call it, uh, I'll just call it R. And I'll say this one's random range. This one's only going to pick the number 1 to 2. Okay, so it's either 1 or it's 2. Now what I'm going to do in the code here 
is I'm going to ask a little question. I'm going to say if r is a 1, then I'm going to say make this is o apple. Else, if r is 2, make this equals o, I think I have a burger in there, make it a burger. Now just let me stretch the code up for you. And then the magic is replace this with make this. So you'll see here, I don't have to retype this code over and over and over, right? So make this gets set to either an apple or make this gets set to a burger randomly. And then when I actually do the creating, just put the variable in there, make this. Okay, and that way the same code can work, you know, with either of these objects here. Let's give this a little test. And you'll see you sort of get your spread, right? Let's say you want the burgers to be more rare. Oh, that's sort of funny. Let's do this. Let's say find the number 1 to 5. So if it's a 1, let's just change this here for a sec. If r is greater or equal to 1 and r is less than or equal to 4, we make the apple. Else, if r is 5, we make the burger. And now we should only get the burger one out of five times, right? So you can always get fancy with this with your uh, logic and your math, right? But sort of a nice touch. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you with your uh, catch the stuff games.